Hey guys, what's up? It's Looney TNT. So today's video is going to be some information that you guys are going to use in about a month from now. So you're going to get this information early, which is really important because you're going to want to start stocking up on some items right now. Okay. So the couple things that you want to stock up on is you want to stock up on um, Mythic Plus items, PvP items, and uh, Cosmic Flux. Okay, Cosmic Flux is going to be really important. We're going to be using that. I'm sure a lot of you guys have a stockpile of it, but let's get more. Okay, we're going to want more. Now, what this Cosmic Flux is going to be able to do is it's going to be able to create tier in about a month. I think it's around April 12th is the date that it's supposed to be here. April 12th, April 13th, something like that. And that's going to give us the update to create tier items. Now, how does that work? So in ZM, there's going to be an area where you can go in and it's kind of like an upgrade thing. So like if we click upgrade, there's going to be a, a place here where you can actually put in an item. Okay. And that item, um, if you choose to create it with Cosmic Flux, will actually be able to create uh, your item into a tier item. So you're going to need a, for an example, if we needed the chest, we're going to need Cosmic Flux and we're also going to need the chest piece, any chest piece. doesn't matter what chest piece. It can be from Mythic Plus, it can be from the raid, it can be from PvP, doesn't matter. Now, the reason that Mythic Plus and PvP gear is going to be the best gear is because it can upgrade. Now, as an example here, my chest is a 265 heroic item. Now, I could definitely upgrade this into tier and then have a tier chest. That would be awesome, right? The only issue is it does not upgrade. Raid gear does not upgrade. So, if I put in a lower level chest that I got from Mythic Plus, that's going to be way better because I can max that chest out eventually. Same thing with PvP. Now, there's also another cool feature that I don't hear a lot of people talking about is you're actually going to be able to switch um, stats on your gear. So, with that little upgrade thing, you can put in, um, let's say, so trinkets don't work, rings don't work, but I believe uh, the backs work, so we'll talk about capes. Capes, when you go and upgrade this item, s saying upgrade, you know, it's, it's not really an upgrade, but I'm just saying, you know, you put it into that little machine thing they're going to have. It's going to upgrade, but it's not going to change eye level. The eye level stays the same, but the stats change. So you could actually get different stats on your items, which is also pretty cool. It's almost like um, reforging, if any of you guys remember reforging from MOP. But it's going to be a little bit different because, you know, you're not picking and choosing. Think, it's, it's different, okay? It's different. But you will be able to change stats. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting all my tier items that I need, right? And I'm going to make sure that I have correct gear for those slots. Now, this is on, on over a month, and what they're going to be doing with this is they're going to be <laughs> they're going to be time gating the time gate. Okay? I, I know that sounds weird, but they're time gating the time gate. So, how it's going to work when it first comes out is you're going to be able to do one item a week. Now, when you do the one item a week, obviously you know, you got to wait for the next week to do the other one. But with time, they're going to allow you to do it um, every couple days. And then after that, there I think it's going to just be, you know, maybe once a day or something like that. Just to help alts out and stuff like this. So, my best advice for you guys is to not throw away any of those uh, pieces of gear that you find important um, for like Mythic Plus, right? Uh, if you're a great PvPer, then you can get PvP gear. I'm not, so I won't be able to upgrade it to max anyway. But, you know, like, um, like these legs are a bad example because these are from last season, so, you know, they, they can't upgrade. Um, but, like, here's my tier legs, right? My tier legs are definitely a good spot, but I'm still gonna want 
Mythic plus tier. So I'm going to be looking for legs as a drop, even though I have my tier legs that are 239. Even if you get a 265 heroic legs, it's still going to be way more important for you to invest in a, a pair of, you know, what is it, 236 mythic legs. So eventually you can upgrade those and, you know, get those all the way up to 278, I believe it is. So... It's something that you guys will be working on in the future, but it's something that it's something you will be working on right now, but it's something that's going to benefit you in the future. So, I just wanted to put this video out if um if this helps you guys out, I hope I hope it does. I hope it gets you guys ready for that when it comes out. Make sure you guys are completing your quests in ZM, getting all that stuff done so you'll be able to unlock any unlocks that come out. We just got flying this week. If you do it on one character, which is my Drood, um, you'll have flying on all your other characters. So now I have flying on all of my other characters. So it's it definitely helps out farming uh, rares and stuff like that. When I get ready to do the quest, I'll do the quest. Um, I believe next week? Next week or the week after, something like that. We're going to be getting our um, our legendaries. So that's going to be uh, our second legendary. So that's going to be fun too. Now, do remember, we will be getting this legendary at 265. It is not going to be 291. I believe you have to be revered before you can create the 291 legendary. So the 265 legendary is free. It's going to be a belt. But if you want the 291, you're going to have to get revered. So make sure that you guys have a little bit of rep going into the um, uh, Zareth Mortis uh rep you know make sure that rep is up ready to go so if you guys are uh wanting to make that second legendary um be ready for that also the only unfortunate thing right now is um to create the legendaries they are so expensive so i don't know what to tell you guys there um unless i do some sort of gold guide you know and trying to help you guys out I've done a few, but you know, I'm not the best gold maker. I do have some ways to make some gold, but unfortunately, at currently at this moment, I just don't have any information to help you guys with that. But be ready for that because um, that second legendary is coming and um, creating tier will be coming also. So, all right, guys, that's about it. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. Hopefully, this information helped you guys, and I will talk with you guys again soon. Make sure you sub.